Hey, this is Professor Perez. In this video, we are going to perform problems that involve a circle, cylinder, and a sphere. But before we get started, we gotta get out Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? <laughs> Let's get started right there. Here we have a circle. Now the distance from side to side through the center of the circle is called the diameter. Let's begin by finding the circumference of the circle. The circumference is the distance around the edge of the circle. The formula for a circumference is c equals 2 pi r, where r represents the radius. Since we're given the diameter, we have to find the radius, and remember, the radius is one half of the diameter. That means we take one half times the diameter. One half times 18 is 9 inches. So let's replace r with 9 inches. So we have 2 times pi times 9 inches. And our final answer is 18 times pi inches. It's not 18 inches, it's 18 times pi inches. You can replace pi with its decimal approximation of 3.14 and perform the multiplication. But we're going to leave pi in our final answers. Let's find the area of the circle. Remember, area is two dimensions. Since our units are inches, our dimensions for area has to be inches squared. Let's replace r with 9 inches, and notice we have 9 inches squared. 9 inches squared means 9 inches times 9 inches. 9 times 9 is 81. Inches times inches is inches squared. So notice we get pi times 81 inches squared. That means it's pi times 81, which is 81 pi, and do not forget your dimensions of inches squared. So our final answer is 81 pi inches squared. Okay, let's find volume. Remember, volume is three dimensions. Let's work with a cylinder. Where's our cylinder? I don't know where it's at. Where it? Quit fooling around, Charlie. All right, here's our cylinder. The formula for the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. Remember, volume is three dimensions. Notice here our height is 20 inches, and the diameter of the circle on top of this cylinder is 12 inches. Our formula requires that we have the radius and the height. Well, we have the height and we have the diameter, so we need to find the radius. And remember, the radius is half the diameter. So we'll take 1 half times 12 inches to get our radius, and therefore our radius is 6 inches. Therefore, we replace r and h with its dimensions. r is 6 inches, h is 20 inches. Now, we have to square the radius. We have 6 inches squared. That means 6 inches times 6 inches. 6 times 6 is 36. Inches times inches is inches squared. So therefore, we get 36 inches squared. Let's bring down our work. Now, notice we have pi, and we have 36 times 20, which is 720. And do not forget, do not forget about your dimensions. It's inches squared times inches which gives us inches cubed. That makes sense because we have volume. And so our final answer is 720 pi inches cubed. There we go. Now let's work with a sphere. A sphere is just a ball. Now the diameter of the sphere is distance from edge to edge through the center, and it's 10 inches. Formula for the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Again, the radius is half the diameter, and so 1 half times 10 inches is 5 inches. Let's replace r with 5 inches, and notice we have 5 inches cubed. That means 5 inches times 5 inches times 5 inches. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. Inches times inches times inches has to be represented as inches cubed. That makes sense because volume is three dimensions. So we have 125 inches cubed. Let's bring down our work. We have 4 thirds. Let's write the 125 as a fraction by just putting it over 1. And there's our answer. We put pi in there. Don't forget your dimensions. And to get our final answer, we have 500 over 3 times pi inches cubed. And that's the volume of our sphere. That's it for now. We'll see you again soon.